Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream here on on the Thrive Guide world. My name is ClickFlow. It's good to have y'all here. Um, I'm super excited, but um, I guess we'll get into it, shall we? Uh, so I'm going to hop over to main and then we will go in. Uh, first, I got to check, make sure I'm recording. Okay. Don't want to forget that this time. All right. Your volume's off. That's okay. <laughs> How have you guys been? It's been almost an entire week since last time I've I've heard anything from you guys. How has it been? <laughs> you guys done anything super exciting without me? You can see our iron farm is just churning out the iron. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. And it keeps pouring in. Oh, one of my favorite farms right here. This is just fantastic. So much iron. And I'm going to take a lot of this iron. Burn, golems, burn. Yep, that's basically what we do. I'm going to take a lot of that and we can take that back to the base. I have only AFK'd at this farm for literally like overnight and we have so much um, iron from this farm. It's literally like ridiculous, so good. Anyway, so uh, let's fly back over and see how many uh, how, uh, how many hoppers we can make with this iron and then I think we're gonna go back and finish setting up the the storage buffering system for the uh, for the for the piglin farm <laughs> the golems aren't that naughty but we still put them in the lava pit because it's fun <laughs> Uh, first, while I have a bunch of rotten flesh, might as well get some free emeralds, right? <laughs> the wrong golem, my bad. <laughs> That's funny. That literally, oh, that was, that was really good. I, I applaud. I approve. Let's make... 64 hoppers, heck yeah. Um, let's see, any redstone box. You can throw those in there for right now. Um, what else do we want? What else do we need, I should say? Um, we got the hoppers. Uh, we need chests, more chests. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. What am I doing right now? We are going to uh, take all of this iron that we got from the iron golem farm and uh, finish setting up the st uh, storage buffer system for the piglin farm. Um, so I'm just grabbing a few more hoppers to finish that. I'm going to need some more chests, so might as well grab some wood. Oh, we're out of wood. That's awkward. Just like in last stream, I am not prepared again. Let's see if we have any wood in here. We have a little bit. Um, not very much, though. <laughs> yeah, tree farming, seriously. <laughs> uh, 28 chests. Actually, that might be enough for us right now. Let's let's go over there and see what we can, uh, what we can't do and then we'll go from there. Um, I'll just take the this shulker box in my inventory right now. Anyway, off we go. Let's head. I brought a little bit of gold because I do want to test out the system, how well the storage system works once we have it built and installed. We are almost there with the installation. I just need to do a little bit more. And again, sorry I wasn't really available to do much more 
uh, many more videos during the week because uh, it's been a hectic week. But it's finally the weekend. I hope you guys are excited as as excited as I am, but probably not because I am pretty excited. Dang it, he moved. Giant floating marshmallow squids. Die. <clears throat> okay, and I was thinking about this before and I'm pretty sure we screwed this up. Uh, we built this on the wrong block. So this whole system needs to be moved over by one block. So <laughs> we're gonna tear out this side right here and we're going to uh, install it right there. Shouldn't be too hard. It's just a matter of getting it done. So let me grab a little bit of this netherrack so that I can um, build with. One block off, yep. <laughs> That's how it goes though. That's pretty much the name of the game. Okay, let's get to it, I guess. You can hell the piglins getting mad at me for breaking chests. <laughs> you're you're not weird. I'm sure there's loads of people that love that sound. Mining lots and lots of blocks. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm pretty sure I brought some ice for it uh, for the rest of our system. I don't love the floating marshmallow squids. <laughs> Nobody loves the floating marshmallow squids. It's okay. You don't have to love them. Okay. Chests, lots and lots of chests. <laughs> that does happen, doesn't it? Um, I've also been thinking a little bit about this farm and what we can do to um, to separate out some of the items. Um, I, I, I do know of some uh, some YouTubers that have built these kind of systems and they uh, literally sort every single item into their own individual uh, 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 system of chests, uh, array of chests. And it is ridiculous. Like there are so many, it's, it's a beast of a, of a machine. So um, I'm not going to do that. I think that is a little bit overkill in my book. Um, but I think, th I mean, th the main reason why I'm building this farm is for, uh, is for Blackstone. So I think once we have this system uh, working and filtering out all of the, um, all of the materials I think I'm going to build a system that will filter out the blackstone from this and then just put it into one big chest and then everything else can just be um, can just be flushed into a big container altogether that's not I'm not too worried about that uh, but I do want to get the the blackstone separated out just uh, just for easy access but
Oof. Okay, so now all of the hoppers and chests are in, I think. Okay, now we need to put in the rest of the ice stream. Actually, I might hold off on the ice stream for right now. Um, classic oops of me, I forgot more iron because we need hopper minecarts as well. So, um, yeah, so I've got to go back to the overworld and grab me some iron again. Silly me. What'd you shoot? Demons. <laughs> what was that? I took damage when I came through that portal. I wonder if something attacked me and then went through the portal themselves. <laughs> Awkward. But, um... I, uh, so we do need to make 14 uh, hopper mine carts. So I just need enough uh, iron for 14 um, mine carts. Mine carts don't stack, so I'm not going to make them right now. Uh, let me do the math really quick. 14 times 5 iron per hopper. So I need 70. Sorry, I, I probably could have done that mental math in my head, but I really didn't want to. Oh, uh, what's that right there? That'll be enough, right? We'll just take that. All right. And I have a m crafting table in my um, ender chest, but I really should put just put a crafting table over by that farm. I mean, I use it all the time. Alrighty, let's grab the ender chest, yield ender chest really quick, and slap that down. And let's make, first off, awkward, I need some stone, uh, because we need to make I don't really have much space in here anyway. <laughs> I need to make some stair, uh, some walls, I mean, really quick. So if we could, uh, do I have to make them into stone bricks? I don't see any walls here. Let's make a couple of them into stone bricks and see. Yeah, we can make those. So let's do that and then make some walls. Okay. <clears throat> I need to grab some rails. Why don't I have rails in my redstone box? What the heck? I have to go back to the overworld and grab some rails. I just am not prepared. That's just literally the the moral of this story, of this live stream, is that I am not a prepared person. Anything else that I forgot while we're at it? Story of my life. Thanks. <laughs> Here, there we have all of our rails. I'll just take those. Is there anything else we're missing? Um... Let's see, we've got some gold in the ender chest. The, uh, I mean in my redstone box that I brought over with me. I think that's everything. We need mine carts, uh, rails, we need the walls. I think we're good. Hey, let's finally get this thing built. 
I probably should have done some preparation work before I started this stream. Okay, so first off, let's make a bunch of mine carts. Where are they? That's what I want to build. Does anybody else see them? I don't see them. <laughs> and we'll make a bunch of minecart hoppers. Like that. Do we have any more hoppers? Let's see. One, two, three, and then that many, I think. Okay. Let's pillar up and get these things placed right. I think I am going to take out this ice stream really quick. Um, just so it'll be easy to place all of our all of our uh, hopper minecarts and such. So how we're going to do this, I'm thinking, is we're going to want one wall right there. And then one right here yeah right there and then we'll put a rail right there and then we'll put a mine cart on top of that just like that and then we'll back up a little bit so that I can see that just like that and then we'll kind of nudge it over into the corner just like this. I think that's perfect. So that is the setup we want. That hopper, uh, I think that'll work. Thinking about it now, we might need to move it back over that way. Oh man. I think we might have to move it one block that way, actually. I think I had it right the first time. How embarrassing. Oh, no, we don't have to do that. We can we can just do this. We can put one right there. One right there. Perfect. Just like that. And then we'll put the rail there. And another minecart hopper right there. Sorry, I have to think about this. Perfect. Now that should be good. That should be directly over the ice stream when it uh, when it goes across, and it will um, it, it is it is also uh, over the hitbox of all four of these hoppers. Hoppers will uh, will filter at at uh, at exactly one quarter times the speed of the minecart hoppers. So if we have four hoppers per one minecart hopper, then they should be filtering items into the chest just as fast at the same rate as the as this these here hopper mine carts so that is perfect let's pick up the rest of this stuff and I'm sure we're gonna have to go back through this and um, and uh, collect a whole bunch of stuff out of the uh, out of the chests at the bottom that we dropped but that's okay Look at us figuring things out on the fly. Oof. I say as soon as I fall off my own uh, system. Alrighty, so we're going to want to put one there, one there, and we'll just keep going down and alternating the walls just like this. Oops, we don't want one there. And I think I lost that one to the, to the hoppers. <laughs> Uh, 
Perfect. Yeah, we'll go back. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> That's okay. We are still doing all right. We were able to fix it. And I think that should be all that we need. There is a chance as well. I mean, I haven't tested this exactly, so I'm not sure uh, that the the, uh, the piston will be pushing items uh, fast enough along this ice stream that it'll be too fast for all of these hopper mine carts. And if that's the case, we'll just have to extend this um, down, but we'll see how that goes. You miss the memes in my videos? <laughs> They're pretty fun. I enjoy them. Oh, come on. Where is that hitbox? There it is. Uh, this is like performing surgery. Come on. I can't get that hitbox. There it is. Goodness gracious, that's so hard to get. That's going to take us the entire stream just to place down all these guys. The plot thickens. <laughs> I wonder if the chat's going kind of slow. I don't know why it does that, why the chat lags so much, but I'm sorry. Oh, that guy scared me. Ooh, that's going to be another thing that we might have to worry about. We might have to worry about spawn proofing this or at least enclosing it or something so all the zombie pigmen can't get in it and bump into the hoppers, the hopper minecarts. That would be a problem. Look at him. He's trying to do it right now. Evil. That one went so nicely, like all square and everything. All these other ones have been like, <laughs> like that. I mean, it works, but it just looks kind of funny. Okay. And I am out of minecart hoppers. Yeah, see that guy already moved it. That's not cool, dude. Get out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to have to go remove that guy from existence. Ouch. That's what I get for saying that, right? This guy needs to move. Um, I had some more hoppers in here. Well, how many more hoppers did I need? I only needed three more, right? And I don't have enough, do I? Oof. I probably dropped some in here. I did. Cool. Perfect. Three more hoppers. I think that's all I need.
Gosh dang it. It is kind of tedious, but it'll be worth it, believe me. All right. Now I gotta go get rid of that guy. Maybe if I shoot him from really far away, he won't even know it was me. Doesn't look like anybody's trying to kill me. <laughs> so that's always a good thing. We'll have our sword ready though, just in case. Okay, let's go and push all of these guys in again, just to make sure that they are all in the correct position. This guy was definitely not because of that stinking pigment, but that's fine. He got his, didn't he? Okay. I think they're all good now. Stinking pigmen. Yep. That's just how it goes, though. Okay. Now I think we can go ahead and put the ice stream back in. So let me hop down and run through all of these chests to find the ice stream because it was uh, yeah I dropped a whole bunch of items into these chests like literally all of them except for that one I need to find all my ice. The piglins are going kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear them in the stream, but they are trying to kill me. Something fierce. Good thing they are... They have a lifetime sentence in their piglin prison that I built for them. Haha. -ha. I hope they suffer. Just kidding, that's a little morbid. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Let me grab a little bit more ice. Because I brought some in here. And then we'll finish filling up that finish installing that ice stream and we can get this puppy cooking I don't like the ghasts. They're trying to kill me. Um, and I think we'll... St oh, well. I think we'll fall off right there. Packed ice um, you can make by uh, by taking four, uh, four or nine ice, normal ice, and then combining it in a crafting table interface and like a block. Um, or if you are like me, you can just find an icy spikes biome or like a frozen ocean biome or something like that and then just craft all of this because that's what I've been doing. <laughs> but it all it works just the same. I think on this last one, I'm going to do that just to stop all of the flow of items onto that last block just in case any go through. They don't just fly off over the top. But you can also make... Uh, blue ice which is even better than packed ice it moves items faster 
in the same way uh, as you can make ice just using um, packed ice instead of normal ice uh, in, in, the, in the recipe. Yes, you use ice to make ice to make ice. That's basically how the logic works. <clears throat> Oops, there is... I dropped a few pieces of netherrack in here. Not a lot. I love Minecraft logic, it's so fun. <laughs> there's just enough like lore and fantasy and stupidity that it makes it really fun, but there's also like enough like actual logic in it that that you can make systems like this. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Let's store all these guys back in here. Um, I'll definitely keep the rail. You can make floating islands. Yeah, you can make a lot of things in Minecraft. It's pretty fun. Why do I have a random piece of gold? Oh yeah, because I killed that piglin. Awkward. We'll stick that right there. Um, what else? The stone can go here. Okay, I think, oh, I needed that back because we need all the gold now to test it. You think 32 gold will be a good test for this system? I am excited. I think this will work. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. Oh, of course I took the gold out of my, my bow out of my inventory and swapped it for the gold. I have to pop it. Got him. Okay. Let's see if we can't build the, uh, test this system. I hit everything, didn't I? Okay, yeah, right here. We'll just place a couple of blocks right now um, and see if everything is working. So we can click that and then we can watch this. Wow, that is working really well. <laughs> yes, it works. So we can look in here. Got a couple of potions, some leather. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we got crying obsidian too. This is fantastic. Oh, I love it. Let's just chuck all of the gold in there and see what we can get out. I am planning on probably the next episode or the episode after that to build a gold farm uh, so that we can just get all of the gold in the world from this farm. Uh, for this farm, I mean. Because uh, I built this farm primarily to get just heaps and heaps of, and heaps of easy blackstone. So as soon as the next update comes out, they should add blackstone to the bartering table for these guys. And then we can just chuck a bunch of gold in there and then grab a crap ton of, of black stone. But let's check this out. Let's see if it gets backed up at all. It's doing really good. Is it already out? Oh, that was fast. Oh, man. It's like they are I'm, I'm losing a little bit right there. But not very much. Let's see how this system here is doing. Oh no, I'm losing a lot of stuff over there. That's not good. Hmm, maybe my system here needs some fixing. Hmm. 
that's awkward. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, that's frustrating. It wasn't as good of a system as I thought it was, I guess. That's still pretty good, though. Hmm. I love how much gravel we're also getting from this. Gravel is super nice for building, uh, for making concrete in the future. That's going to be super helpful. And this is like straight up an ender pearl farm as well. Uh, this just pumps out so many uh, um, ender pearls. So it's like you don't even need to make an enderman farm. I'm going to grab some of these stone bricks and see what we can do about that. I'm thinking maybe we can just um, make kind of like a drop shoot like this. Why won't that let me place that block there? Maybe like that? Maybe? Or maybe we need to... Hmm. Will that work? If we do that, will it still drop items? I have no idea. We could try it, I guess. I guess I need to put some gold in there in the back of it. I have a couple pieces of gold left, so that'll work. Yeah, that, that still works. That still worked really good, actually. Let's see if there are any items just sitting in there. Can't really see anything. There's a few items right there. Maybe if we push the lever a couple times, it'll um, push those across. Yeah, that went, those went across. Okay. Well, what the heck? That's weird. What the heck? Why are they bouncing up and down? That is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. What the heck? <laughs> okay, maybe we'll just pick those up. Maybe those items don't actually exist. Maybe they're like phantom items. That could very well be it. I'm think actually I'm thinking that is what the case is. But anyway, we got, we're getting quite a bit of good stuff from here. Why do I, that netherrack must have fell in there by my mistake. Yeah, and as you can see, this also puts out a little bit of iron. And then there's the gold that they didn't trade. I wonder why they only trade sometimes. That's going to be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> that is so bizarre. I I just can't believe that that those are just like floating there. And they, every every time I push the system, it just bounces. <laughs> anyway, I think we fixed that problem. 
I don't know why they're not trading every single time. I might have to test that in a creative world and see what I can do about that. But um, I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much right now. Um, we got that mostly figured out. And we got a lot of items from this system. And that's really just why we built it. We didn't build, uh, I don't really build things to be the most efficient or the most effective that you can ever get things in the whole world. Um, I just build things for fun um, because that's why I got the game. That's why I started this YouTube channel was to enjoy myself, to turn my hobby into something that, that you guys can enjoy too. So I hope you guys can forgive me for that. Anyway, I think that's enough for this system here. I'll have to think on some of these things and what we can do to fix them. But um, I'd say that works pretty well. It really filled, uh, uh, picks up the items really quickly when they do make it out here. It's just dropping them down and then pushing them along. Maybe we'll have to figure something out uh, as, as well as the rate... Uh, the probability that those guys will trade every time with every gold block that we give them. But I'll figure that on my own time. I think we can be done with the piglin bartering farm for this stream. And huh, I say that's all, but we've already almost been an hour doing just that. I'm not going to get anything done. <laughs> Sorry. I am very slow at these things. Yes, goodbye, piglins. We will see you next time. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, so that is uh, enough of that project for now. I think what we are going to do for the rest of this stream is I want to go over to the spot that we had originally um, laid out for our for for our castle slash uh, village slash town that we are going to build we marked it out over there so I think we're going to go over there and uh, do some measurements and uh, maybe plotting out some things and do some terraforming because there's those two villages there that I want to kind of incorporate into the build, but there's a gigantic like hill slash mountain in between them. And I think I want to kind of level that out. So we might have to go visit the guardian farm to repair our tools, but I think we'll head over there and um, check out how, how the area is doing, how it looks, and what we can do to make it a little bit better. So this is kind of the area that I'm thinking. As you can see, there's like a bay over there. We can make like a port or a shipyard or something. And then there's this area. And then right over in this area, there's also another village right there. And I think it'd be really cool to kind of incorporate those two. But as you can see, there's like this gigantic hill. I guess it's not too much of a problem. It's not really that in the way. We could probably put like the back of this island up against, uh, I mean, the back of the castle up against this uh, this hill. But it is kind of a little bit obstructed. I don't know, maybe we could incorporate the mountain into the build. I think that would be kind of cool as well. Put like a watchtower on the top of this, so it just can be super high, towering everywhere. Yes, I also love the fact that this is in a flower forest. <laughs> Lots of flowers. And there's another flower forest over there, too. It's pretty fun. I don't know. What do you think? Should we take out this mountain? I think it'd be a lot of work. We could just leave it. Whoa. There's like 
a sheer cliff right there. Let's see. There's rabbits, bunnies. Look at those guys. They're so cute. I think first things first with this uh, terraforming, I'm going to remove this guy because this is quite the eyesore. Hey, we got some loot. Not the best, most greatest loot in the world, but it works. Let's see, let's just start removing these guys. Get rid of those lava sources. Although I do love these these structures. Hey! Gwilly55 has followed. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it and it super helps out the stream. Welcome to welcome to the flow. I hope you have are having a fantastic day. And I hope you are enjoying the stream. But um I love these 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 uh structures here. And I uh, want to incorporate them into the lore of this world eventually. But they're really just like right here. This is just kind of an awkward sp spot for it. It's just kind of an eyesore. So I think we'll get rid of it. How has your day been, Gwilly55? Have you enjoyed your Friday afternoon? And I guess Friday morning. I think I have had a rather good Friday. Most of my professors have just like canceled class and they're like, wow, uh, you guys can just enjoy your weekend. And it was a really nice treat for me. So I hope you're, you're having a good day too. Seriously, yay for cancelled class. <laughs> These guys kind of go deep, don't they? Oh, it doesn't go that deep. It just kind of is one layer or so. Not as much when I'm underwater. Oh, that's because I don't have my uh, helmet on. Let me go grab that really quick. Hey, look, a bee's nest. There is my backup gear. I guess I should probably take this guy off. Yeah, it's really running low on the durability. Um, I brought that because it was fire protection, but it really needs some unbreaking or something on it. Maybe I'll combine it with this guy. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, now that I have that on, I should be able to mine this stuff underwater pretty quick. Come on. Stop. These guys look like they want to play. What's he doing out? You do realize your kind burns in outside of water. Whatever. 
He seems to be enjoying himself, so I won't be the one to ruin his party. Well, I guess actually I was, because I murdered him. That's fine. He'll get over it, right? Murder is fine. He'll get over it. <laughs> Basically. Again, Minecraft logic, right? He'll just respawn in a couple of seconds. Well, we got that taken care of. Alrighty. Yeah, let's throw down another shulker box. Uh, what is this? Lead? What? Oh, lead. Oh, <laughs> how embarrassing. <laughs> that was... Oh, how embarrassing. Nobody noticed, right? Nobody was paying attention. You guys will vouch, right? Nobody was paying attention to that. Okay, yeah, nope. <laughs> Okay, so we got that thing out of the middle of the floor, and that is good. I think maybe I'll take out this little nub here and try and make this a little bit more um, even so that the back of the castle can rest a little bit more evenly. Or maybe we want it to be more organic. I don't know. That guy's sleeping. Dang it. Can't steal his bed. What about this bed? Looks like it's free. <laughs> but I think it would be a fun thing to incorporate uh, these these naturally generated villages into the into the castle main base that we build later on. I think that would be a fun uh, little Easter egg. And then we can even extend these into like a semicircle around the perimeter of the of the castle, like if the castle's right in the middle here. And then we build this and we just kind of extend it in a dome shape until it meets up with that one. I think that would be super fun. The lore of my world, um, I, I'm trying to make this kind of like medieval themed, um, I don't know. We're just kind of making it up as we go, but it's been, it's, it's, it's a fun little, uh, game. I don't know. What, what, what are we going to call it? This guy probably needs to be cleaned up. What's down here? Literally nothing. It just goes to a dead end right here. Yeah. So that I, I'm going to want to cover this up so that we're not... So there's not a gigantic hole in the middle of our landscape. That's irritating. Let me grab some grass from over here. Yeah, this guy too, probably. Yeah, look, he just goes over here and then resurfaces. It does go deeper. Eek, creeper. I will be making it out of blackstone. Yes, that is the main reason why I've been building that, um, that piglin farm. 
was because uh, it, in, the, in, th in the next update, Blackstone will be added to the loot table, and this castle is going to require a ludicrous amount of Blackstone. Like, I'm... I'm planning on this thing being like the biggest thing I've I've ever personally built, which I guess isn't really saying much because um, I haven't really built that grand and exciting of things in my days in Minecraft, but I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a rather fun and exciting build, and I really love the new Blackstone uh, look and the textures of those. Um, so I'm just really excited in general to incorporate the blackstone and the warped wood and such. I think that will look really good. Let's just kind of fill this in right here. Eek, I ran out. <laughs> Okay, so we got those holes cleaned up. Is there another one over here? Kind of, it's just like awkward. Sometimes the bedrock generation can be kind of weird. <laughs> Let's plant that back again. So what do you think, should we uh, should we take out a bunch of this landscape and turn it into kind of a more flat area? Or should we build around this? I didn't realize that this was uh, such a such a steep incline. I mean, such a shallow incline, I should say. I thought it was a steep incline, but it really isn't. I mean, it's kind of, but like I don't imagine we'll be building that much clear up on the top of this hill except for maybe like a really tall tower or something that's just like uh, the spire of our castle. Plus this looks like a lot of river, so that looks kind of a pain to build things over that, on that. Over here, if we were to build it right here, we would have to cross over that one river, but I think that would kind of look cool to build like a bridge or something over the top of that. So I don't think that will be too big of a deal, but Maybe I'll trim this down a little bit. <laughs> that should be good. So let's start down at the bottom, maybe, and we'll just like take this. Lots and lots of digging. That's what this is going to be. And we'll have to go back over this and make this look pretty, but right now I think it's just mass removal of dirt. We dig, 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 dig the whole way through. Yep, pretty much. Maybe Snow White will be part of our castle. Haha. -ha. <laughs> of course. 
Who hasn't seen Snow White? Come on. Lame people, that's who. Okay, that looks good. Maybe we'll shave off a little bit of the top of this guy. That looks good, I think. Yeah, that, that clears out a lot of space. Not like a crazy amount, but like enough so it feels like this is more continuous. Should we, yeah, let's take this out. That's looking pretty good. Okay, now we kind of need to smooth this over so it looks like a like an easy soft transition. I guess we don't want to. Uh, well, it's it's okay. You, I get, uh, you don't really want to just uh, replace all of the dirt that you just dug up, but like we're going to be making this a lot more shallow. Well, I hope that your cat is also enjoying the stream like you are, right? That's what this is about. I think some parts where it's kind of sheer might actually be good. Um, she's purring. Then of course she's enjoying it. Why wouldn't she be, right? Come on. Yeah, I think that'll look good. And then we can like build a uh, building around it and stuff. And I think that will be good for us. I'm excited. This bed is not taken, but it's not nighttime yet, so I can't sleep. Did I miss this? No, nah, this is just a underground lake looking thing. But I still think we should cover it over. Oh, I must have missed this guy. Ha! Huh. OK, 
guess we might as well go through and light it up so we're not going to be spawning a whole bunch of stuff. Because I'm going to have to uh, dig this, uh, put this back, put a lid over the top of that one as well. Yeah, it wasn't that big. It just looked really big because it was really wide. Have dirt for days. <laughs> yeah, probably. I already have dirt for days. But that's not a bad thing. Dirt is good for a lot of different projects. Cool beans. We got that sorted out. Um, let's see how much of this. We we'll probably put a couple of dirt here. Oh wait. Probably should fill this in if we're going to do that. Hmm. What color dye is my favorite? Um, I like green. I like the lime green since I'm in a flower forest. I don't think they have a lime green uh, flower. At least I don't think so. I, I also like these purple uh, flowers. Let's see if I have one on me. Yeah, these allium flowers. At least that's how I think you pronounce them. I don't know. I'm not the expert in colors. <clears throat> I guess I really should be filling this in with dirt. Yeah, I think uh, the uh, the allium is is a yeah. That's where we need Hayline. <laughs> she is the flower color expert person I think her and Reese left though so I think we're on our own for that <laughs> they both said that they were at a uh, restaurant so I hope they're having a fun time
Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that. I think that'll look good. Let's see if we can't take a look at it from the air. Yeah, it's looking good. That's not very much terraforming since most of this is already perfect. Right there needs some fixing. Oh, because it's just literally a giant ravine. How did I not notice that before? Okay, it's not a ravine. It's just a hole in the ground. Well, that's, that's kind of odd that that generated like that. You had a gourmet home-cooked meal today. I'd say it was gourmet. I thought it was good. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. No buts about it. This is really deep, wasn't it? Almost up to the main uh, level, though. That's honestly pretty impressive that we were able to fill so much of that in. We dug out a lot of that mountain, a lot more than I thought we did, I guess. It's my favorite part about Minecraft. Hmm. I guess I like how open it is. Like, you can just kind of do whatever the heck you want. Um, I uh, I get a little um, like I enjoy playing uh, uh, some of the other games where like you have a set like storyline or something like that but like once you finish the storyline it's like well guess I'm gonna find a new game now I don't know that's that's at least how I feel I'm not really into uh, speed running and all of that I mean uh, it's it's kind of enjoyable but just not as much as some people do but Minecraft is like, there's literally no story. Uh, the end game boss is, is, is more of like the, it, it like unlocks a lot of the game that you can play. Um, like with shulker boxes and with Elytra and stuff like that. It's just really a neat way to play the game. Uh, whereas um, a lot of other games don't necessarily have that. So I think I like that about it. Plus the story, you can honestly like make your own since it's a sandbox game. Uh, you you you're you're allowed to kind of create the lore of your own world, like like we were talking about a little bit earlier. And I love that about it. I lo I love that you can just kind of make your own your own lore, your own story by what you build. You know what what kind of story you tell. Uh, I think that's a super pivotal part of the game and I really enjoy it. And I ran out of fireworks again. That was fast. <clears throat> but what about you? What do you enjoy about Minecraft the most? You're watching the stream, so you got to enjoy it at least a little bit. I need to make a gunpowder farm. That I do. That is definitely a necessary thing that I need to make. 
And unfortunately on the Bedrock Edition, there really isn't a crazy amount you can do uh, with uh, gunpowder farms. So we're just gonna have to kind of make do with what we do, what we get. Um, we can make, did I run out of dirt? I ran out. Well, cool. Does that look okay? I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to make like a general mob farm that just farms all of the main surface mobs at night, like zombies and and skeletons and creepers and uh, all of those other guys. So that will probably produce a little bit of gunpowder, but not nearly as much as like a gunpowder farm you could probably create on the Java edition. So that's just an unfortunate side effect of how things work. I like exploring the biomes and the generated builds as well. I think they are lots of fun. It's generally uh, a really just, it's, it's literally like an infinite world. You can explore as much or as little as you want. That's the beauty of the game, isn't it? You can just do as much or as little as you want to do. <laughs> Let's grab some more of this dirt over here and then fill in some more of that area because I still think it was looking a little bare. The game has evolved significantly well. I've been very impressed with it. The first time I played it was back when it first released. Um, one of my friends showed it to me and I was like, yeah, that's cool, but whatever. I, did, I, I didn't really get into it that much. Um, but seeing the, the game now, how, it, how it's changed, there's so much you can do and it's really fun. And like these, these updates are starting to pick up their pace. It's crazy. Um, like with the, with some of the previous updates, like they would change just a few minor bugs and some game crashes and such like that. But now they're like revamping the entire nether. So that's game changing, honestly. It changes the entire dimension, which that hasn't really happened in a while. I mean, I guess in 1.9, they did uh, an end update where they added Elytra, end cities, shulkers, all that. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty pivotal. A lot of players hate that update, though, because they, the, that's when they changed a lot of the combat parts of the game. But I'm not really into combat that much. I think PvP is fun to watch, but it's not really for me. Hey, Lion and Reese, good to see you guys again. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed your time at the restaurant. Unless you guys are still there, then what? Then why would you be watching this? You need to be enjoying your time at the restaurant. <laughs> that looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks better. It's kind of still like a little hole. But maybe we can kind of fill it in. That uh, looks a bit better. I left a big hole in the wall. Oops. Surprise. <laughs> How does that look? Let's check it out from a distance. Does that look better? Oof, there's a big zigzag Z in the top there. I guess it's an S, I don't know.
Dig, 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 dig. There, that's that is a little bit better, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. I'm excited too. I'm glad you're excited. Um, I'm a little nervous because, like, because like I've said, I've never really done anything this scale. So I hope it will turn out good. But I'm enjo I'm going to enjoy it. Just fill this in. What's my favorite biome? Um, for what purpose? There are a lot of different things you could like a biome for. For like building or for living in or just like for the sake of what how it looks. Because I like all the biomes basically for their own reasons. That looks a bit better as soon as those that grass dies. Um, all of the above. Okay. <laughs> For building in, I really like these plains biomes and stuff. There's it's it's really pretty. I like the uh, the pastel greens and such. I, I think that just looks really pretty. It's it's a lot more vibrant than the than some of the colder biomes like those um, those extreme hills biomes off in the distance. Those are the uh, they're still fun. I enjoy those, and, and and I and I like how they're just so open space. Like there's just not very much uh, going on, so it's not too much terrain to remove. Like really, this terraforming, although we've spent like almost an hour on it, we really haven't removed that much terrain or done that much terraforming uh, compared to some people. But as you can see, it looks a lot greener than over there. Um, but the jungle also is a very vibrant green as well, and I like that. It's almost like cartoonish, but there's just so much foliage and uh, wood. Yeah, it's 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 just a lot of material to remove if you, if you want to do any like big scale builds there. To live in, probably the same is probably plains because I like to build in plains, so I like to live in my builds. <laughs> I, I really like the snowy biomes, like the, the snowy taigas and the snow, the snowy plains biomes. I think those look really pretty, and I enjoy exploring those and just being in those in general. They're really fun. Plus, fun fact, in a snowy plains or snowy taiga, only skeletons will spawn. You won't have any creepers or zombies or anything like that, so that's always a big plus. <laughs> Anyway, um, there was something that was over here that I wanted to get rid of. You want to live in a taiga? They're pretty fun, yeah. And there's no skeletons, so that's always a big plus. There is some, like, there's a lava lake over here that I wanted to fill in. I, mean, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't fill that in. Maybe we should incorporate that into the build uh, of our little town. Speaking of town, um, this this town castle area, it needs a name. So if you guys have any suggestions, if anybody has any suggestions, you should definitely uh, put it in the chat and then we will uh, maybe consider naming it that and we can make some banners and stuff to customize it. Speaking of names, all of my tools, everything except for this surrender, they all need names as well. So if you have a suggestion, leave it in the chat. I would be happy to name your 
name one of my tools something that you guys pick. You could name your place Window Mirror. I like it. I like it. We'll definitely put that on the poll. <laughs> Anyway, I think this is looking pretty good over here. Um, oh, well, one, well, one thing that I wanted to do, let's get the fireworks out for this. Because I wanted to measure exactly how big of an area we have to work with here so that we can, um, so that we can better measure what uh, well, what we can build in between. So we are starting here and negative 1077 at the edge of that village. And then at the start of this village, it's negative 890 basically. So let me do that. So that's 187 blocks wide our castle can be, and then we can definitely make it that uh, uh, pretty wide in that direction as well, and vertically. My helmet could be named the brain frame. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> we'll do that as soon as we get back to the base. Um, yeah, I, I think we'll... 100 and... that's almost... You know, a little over 150 blocks. That's pretty good. And then over here... There's almost a good 200 blocks before we get to this bay area. And I'm thinking this bay will be a pretty good uh, place to build a, uh, a a shipping port. Kind of like a, uh, like a dock and then maybe we could put like a ship that's in like in the middle of the bay like it's leaving or coming back or something plus this uh these darker colors kind of make it feel more industrial kind of like it's either colder or maybe the air has been polluted a little bit from all the all the ships that have uh that have been coming and going to to deliver their their goods that is a little unnatural we might have to do something about that <laughs> But I think that over there, the main area is looking pretty good. I am really excited about starting this this build. Maybe we can go uh, go ahead and take down some of these trees and stuff so that when we start building, we can just get to placing blocks and not have to worry about doing any any removing of blocks. More tree farming, yep. That's what we do all the time. That's all we do. Oh, let's see. Did we miss any more logs? We did. These ones are always tricky because we can get them. There's always hidden logs and stuff that we have to remove before the tree starts to disappear. What's my favorite wood? Um, I really like the spruce wood, mainly because it's really easy to farm. <laughs> and wood is one of like the most important blocks. But also, I kind of like the darker texture of it, which, which uh, I, I also really like dark oak because of that same reason it's just like a darker looking wood but i guess now we could probably include some of the other wood types from the nether like the uh the crimson warped wood and the nether uh the i guess it's the crimson wood and the warped wood the blue and the red wood those are pretty cool i really like those I 
I think I'm going to leave that tree there because it's got a bee's nest. The, the nether update really was so good. They just added so much material uh, to the game. Really A++. They did such a good job. I'm really excited for the next update. Speaking of which, uh, tomorrow, folks, is the premiere of is the live stream the minecraft live stream where they will be uh, announcing a whole bunch of material for the next update and they will also be doing a mob vote so we we are able to vote for one of the newest mobs that they're going to add to the game um, the votes are the Moo Bloom, it's kind of like a, a cow variant, kind of like the Mooshroom. We haven't really covered them on the series yet, but they are, uh, they're like a cow that has a whole bunch of flowers and they're yellow. Uh, they don't really do much though. They, they hinted that there would be like interaction between bees and, and uh, those guys. So that, that might be pretty cool. But, and then there's also the Glow Squid that, uh, that we can vote for. Glow squid look, uh, honestly would be really cool because it would be it would just add a lot more like light to the uh, to the oceans. I think those would be really neat. And if if they do get voted in, I'm totally going to um, build a a room inside of the castle where the light source is the glow squid. Like we can build a glass ceiling with a layer of water in there, and then. Um, just put a whole bunch of name tagged gl uh, glow squid in there so that they don't take up the mob cap and they never despawn. And then it'll be like organic lighting. I think that would be super funny. Um, but then the third one, that the one that I'm probably going to vote for, is the isologer. They are a type of uh, illager that is, that is currently in the... Um, what is that game called? Minecraft Dungeons, and they will be uh, kind of like wizards, where they will be th uh, their main attack. Their their hostile mob, and their main attack will be uh, summoning these gigantic blocks of ice above your head, and then dropping them on you. I think that they would be really fun. <laughs> I know it sounds scary, but I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, we've cleared out a lot of space, and I think this is pretty much ready for laying down the foundations. That'll probably be one of the next episodes coming out pretty soon, is uh, laying the foundations for our castle. I'll show you guys kind of how I do my foundations, how to plan out big builds like this. I've done some big builds um, before, so I kind of have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do. But I've never done anything like as big as I want to do it. I want to make this just massive. So it should be a, a big project and we'll do a lot of the building and stuff on streams. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. These streams so far have been kind of slow just because we're still in the early game a little bit. So I don't have very many projects going on. But as soon as I get a lot of these really big projects going, then we can just do a lot of work on them. Uh, in on streams and such so I hope you guys are looking forward to that because I am but I think we're done here this is looking really good let's head back to our um, farmhouse and we can d uh, dump all of our inventory get some things sorted and then we can name our helmet <laughs> And I think we'll probably make a trip to the Guardian Farm as well before the stream is over, just so I can repair all my tools. And I think you guys enjoy watching the Guardians get blended. It's always a good time.
All right, so we can dump all of this wood. Just like that. There's a little bit of stone that we can dump in there. What else? Pretty much everything else is flowers and stuff. Man, this is really getting full. <laughs> oh man, wasted a firework. How silly of me. Let's see, we should probably empty out these shulker boxes here. Did I use any of these to just dump a bunch of stuff? Just these two, right? Let's see, we can get rid of the nether rack in here. Pants and stuff go here. But yeah, you guys should definitely tune in to that, uh, that broadcast by uh, Mojang. I think there is a lot of fun things that are coming our way. I'm super excited about it personally. I'll definitely be joining in at least for a little while to, uh, to make my vote and to, to just be there, you know, just be there to support the the whole minecraft in general you know i think that's a, that's just going to be a really fun thing to be a part of and i th i I, re I also really like how they allow the the community to be uh to play such a big part in in that, in, in, in picking the mobs and such. I think that's just really fun. That's really neat of Mojang to do. Alrighty. These are all of our goodies that we got from the, from the bartering farm. Love that. Let's see. What else we could probably well the gas tiers will take over there. Glowstone can go in there. Soul sand can go in there. I think that's everything. Gravel will go in this chest. Sorry, this probably isn't the most exciting thing you guys have ever seen. You like it. You enjoy sorting things with me. It'll be a lot easier once we have an automatic sorting system for this. Uh, f for this, I think the that will turn out really well once we get those going. Well, thanks. I, I appreciate that you like my streams and videos. I work really hard on them. I put my whole heart and soul into these things. I really do. So I hope you guys enjoy them. But if you don't, I enjoy making them, so, ha. And we have a little bit of rotten flesh for our effort, and we can go trade that with this guy. This guy still hasn't reverted back to his original trains. He's just been so overpowered. Maybe that's a fluke or something, but I rather enjoy it. Okay, I think that's all of our inventory sorted out. Maybe we can, so let's first rename our helmet. The, whoa, whoa. what did you guys call it again? The brain cage or? Sorry, put that back in the chat. I don't I don't remember what that was. I can't really scroll up on this thing. Brain frame. Right, right. Of course. How could I forget? Brain frame. Thank you, ClickFlowY, for making that uh, uh, suggestion. I really appreciate it. 
And thanks for participating so much in my streams. I know I'm just starting up and stuff, so I really appreciate your help. Okay, um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of tree farming, actually, because I need uh, all the... Oh, I don't have any sapling, any bone meal. Right, because this happened. So I had all of the all of the bone meal in my hand and I on an accidentally misclicked and turned all of it into white dye. Ugh. <laughs> so I can't get that back. Oh well, I guess I can plant this tree and have it growing and then we can get some bone meal from some skeletons later on. That will be another good idea uh, for um yeah face palm seriously that would be another good idea for a mob farm is getting bones and bone meal from skeletons those guys it's definitely a necessity in at this stage of the game i use bone meal for everything so i guess we won't do tree farming in the last little bit of the stream. I guess let's head over to the guardian farm so we can mend up our tools and elytra and everything and just for the sweet satisfaction of murdering hundreds of of guardians because I hate them. But I love how, how well this farm works. It's literally so good. I'm just trying to see if I if any of the guardians have spawned. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's a bunch right there. Go to the nether guardians. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I wish there was something in real life like bone meal to just insta-grow anything. That would be so overpowered. That's probably long enough, don't you think? We really don't need that many guardians. So let's block that off and head back to our nether portal. I really love this iron farm. It has been so good. It's just pumping out the iron. And I think we'll build a gold farm like right next to it, maybe over there or something like that so that we can um, get lots of gold for our piglin bartering farm and therefore lots of blackstone. I'm happy. I'm excited about that too. I better have a lot of guardians to kill. I haven't killed a, uh, a few guardians in a couple of days actually so I need to get my quota in. Oh, I love it so much. Yes, the gold farm will be in the overworld. That is an overworld farm. Um, because piglins have a small chance of generating when a portal is lit in the overworld. And that's kind of to give it the effect that like piglins are going through the portal. So like it has an active... Goodness gracious, I can't think while that thing is going on. Um, it's so it 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 it, it kind of gives it the effect that that there are piglins actively walking through the portal from the other side, but it it is also a super handy mechanic to use for gold uh, for farming, uh, farming the piglins, pi uh, the zombified pigmen. Sorry, 
we're going to be farming those guys for all their gold. So much fish. Maybe we'll take a bunch of this fish back to the overworld and start cooking it so that we can have this is our renewable food, renewable f fuel, like, uh, yeah, food, sorry. Just because this produces so much fish. Oh, I brought all of this fish back, so I've got to go dump that into this chest here. So much fish. And that's not going to be smelting yet because I don't have any fuel in there. So we'll have to get some coal or something. I've got a fair bit of coal. Oh no! Well, I'm glad that you stopped by. I hope you had a great time. Honestly, I'm probably going to wrap this up pretty soon. Um, 9.30 is our two hour mark, so I think we're gonna call it uh, a stream. But thank you so much for participating. I've really enjoyed your help and your support. And just everybody in general. Uh, Especially Gwilly55, thank you for subscribing. I hope you are still watching. But shout out to you. Thank you for following and joining the flow. I hope you have a great time. Um, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this live stream. I, 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 I had a good time, but that is my personal um, preference. So... But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.